Hey guys, Brandon here from Revolutions TV. We are now on part 4 on how to make a real pro MySpace layout. So this one is going to be explaining how to cover up your profile to place your slices and images and image links um, into the layout itself so you don't see anything else. So I'm going to jump right into it. So here I have, in um, I'm on my test MySpace page. Uh, I've taken everything out. It's a music page. I took out all the code I had to it. And now I'm ready to start um, applying my set all my codes. So first thing, as I found this website, it's called mygen.co.uk. I've been using it for a while. It's a really good website. You can build MySpace layouts. You can find MySpace layouts. It's really good. But I found this in the tutorial section, and this is the how to hide your profile complete profile. It's a really effective thing, and I've used it uh, many times before, and I plan to use it in the um, future. So basically, what it says is to copy it. And here's a little sample if you can see that, I'm not too sure. Um, basically, all you do is click inside this text area box, Control A, Control C to copy it, go over to MySpace, Control V, and there you have that. I'm going to explain this code to you real quick. This right here is the controller for this next part we're going to add to it. This is basically what controls how to position it and everything. So let's follow along with it real quick. Position absolute, that's the absolute positioning of it. So pretty much get the point left 50 percent never mess with the percentage of the left that's what keeps it in the center of your profile for when you're when you're moving it basically so if I were to do this with the with um, Firefox if I were to do that it would start moving around so we want to keep that at 50 so it stays in place no matter how the page looks so no matter what computer on it's always in the same place top is basically how um how close it is to the top and how low it is basically uh, up and down basically so uh, to get into that um, so let me just explain the higher the number the lower it would go so if you went into like um, say let's like 100 it will go lower than it was at 50 so think of it like this the lower the number the closer to the direction pretty much so you can go to negatives with these variables which actually you actually need to do and like in mine I had to do for going to the left side of the profile I'll explain that when we get to it the width is how um, wide it is, pretty much the width of the layout you have, your div, and that's what it has to be. Um, Z index, um, that's more advanced, but I'll try to explain it. Basically, it's like Photoshop layers. If you have, say, three layers, and you have the um, layer one, layer two, layer three, layer one would be underneath everything. So if you designed over it on layer two, then that's next. And then if you basically, basically it means just think of it as layers if you have it as a higher number it's on top of something else so that's why it's the index one it's over the layout so margin left that is um, how um, far the le left and right pretty much it controls both directions um, you pretty much in that one it's really you for like I said before the more the lower the number the more to that direction it will go so that's um, left negative 400 that means it's gonna be more to the left probably if it's at zero it's probably more in the middle and then the higher the number the more to the right it goes so yeah pretty much so after that we go to this next code normally since this is for a basic profile which it does work on a music profile we just copy and paste the second um, text area boxes code into our bio so for this is for musicians if you have if you're doing this on a personal page yeah I put that in your um, who I'd like to meet section right yes I'd like to meet section um, this is now where everything goes. So if you look here, we have div class equals main, referencing to this up here where it says dot main, which is the div. And then we have the table style, the width, the height, border. I recommend taking this offset to zero px and solid, and then just in case for any reason, just change it to solid black. Background color, set that to whatever your background of it is. When it loads up, um, while your image is loading, it will show this color. So. I'm just going to set this to black, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's just the color code for black. And to do that on my gen, they do have on the tutorial section the color, size, and font chart, which gives you all color codes to pretty much every color there is on the web. Um, cell, um, cell padding, just leave that pretty much. And then, then you see where it says all of your content goes in here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to delete where it says all of your content, dot whatever, whatever, all the way to where it says whatever. So backspace and now we just have it where it says top then the code line those little sidewards V's and then to where it has the la um, the end tag of the slash TD so I'm just gonna give my space a little room in here 
click about in the middle and then go open up the HTML file from the layout that um, from the previous tutorial copy all of this control A control C into the MySpace and then control V now we are pretty much done with the layout itself but I'm gonna pause the video and show you what it looks like with standard settings on this code so alright so here's what we have with um, basic settings to everything we basically get it but as you can tell this was designed for the original MySpace which and this is also a band profile so it even makes it go up higher so as you can see it's really not centered and it's too high maybe we wanted to see the where it says music MySpace so you know it's a band page and as you can see you know we have nothing on it. the friends and comments section isn't as I wanted it that all depends on codes where you get them and I'll have a lot of links because I do not have time to go over where you can uh, how to type up. I'm not gonna type up the full code I'm just gonna give you websites that have the correct codes and like explain that to you more so I'm gonna get, go ahead and pause the video again to get back to the editing so I can show you what to do next alright so now we're back in I'm in safe mode in the edit window so I do recommend this if you're doing this on a band profile go into safe mode so you do not have to preview it and you have to do all kinds of stuff and it lags so now we're back in this code back to what I was saying um, we go back to the reference reference point which is the style main, dot main and we're gonna have to make a slight adjustments now I have mine written down but I'm still gonna explain to you what to do in this in this predicament if you will um, <laughs> um, let's see where we at top um, this like I said the higher the number the more to the opposite think of it like that so the higher the number the more to the opposite of what the word says so so yeah top 125 mine is actually my top is 205 so 205 and then um, as I don't know if you could tell by the um, layout on the um, when we went to go look at it on the one before I came here it wasn't the full layout like it was by not having the right width it will seriously mess up your layout the way it's positioned so my, the width of my layout actually is 880 I'm just gonna leave the Z index to 1 since we're not actually layering things yet and then the left think of this now the more negative the more to that direction it will go so mine is 400 negative 440 now if you use the same width I did 880 that will be the same which is you know that's a pretty good size so it's not too too wide or too small it's a pretty good size for MySpace um, so yeah that's basically my settings right there and now if I go preview it it would look centered perfectly so I'm pause it again and show you what I mean alright so now we're back on the profile with my changes now look at this it's perfectly in the center maybe you know a little off but and then you can see it's right underneath where it says MySpace Music. So that's basically it to this tutorial. I'm, the next part is going to be right after this, I promise. And it will be showing you how to put your own individual information you want on here. So thanks for watching this, guys. I'm sorry if you leave some comments. Tell me if this helped for this part. Um, I really tried. So, you know, just remember in case that more negative, the more to that direction it goes. So that's pretty much the important part. So, peace. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace. Yeah.